Hey everyone, so today I want to do a look that I do every day that is simple and easy to do and it's a mix of a fake permanent soft curls which I notice helps create texture and volume in my hair. So let's get started. So first you want your hair to be neutral and that means without any bedhead and products. And so I just came out of the shower and what I do next is I add this hair oil by Voir. And it's a mixture of rosehip oil, jojoba, and avocado. And I noticed that whenever I use this hair oil, my hair smells great. It also makes it really shiny and glossy. And I'm not too sure if it's a heat protectant because overall avocado oil isn't good for protecting hair. So I guess since they're kind of mixed, it can be somewhat of a heat protectant, but I just like the overall finish and what the oil does to my hair. Next, you want to blow dry your hair, making sure your hair is absorbed. And your hair should be somewhat dried, neutral, and flat. And to make sure your hair is flat, I like to blow dry my hair up and then kind of push it back down. And just to add on, for people asking about my haircut, it's actually a tube lock, which is in dire need of a haircut, but it can still work for this look. Next, you want to part your hair in segments because when you begin to curl your hair, you want to layer the curls to achieve that texture and fake perm style. And I part them in three layers, which I break down to my sides, top of my head, and my bangs. And I work on the front first because it's just easier to see for you guys. And so when you start to curl your hair, which you can use whatever flat iron you prefer, you want to curl in an S shape. And what I mean by that is that you want to curl inwards, then outwards, and then inwards, which to me, I visualize letter S. The heat I use is medium, but I know people have different hair density and hair texture, so find what's best for you. But I also want to note that whenever you curl your bangs or layers, what I do is that once the heat leaves the hair, I disperse the curl a bit so it can fan out, and later you'll see in the video that this is the reason why I do that, which helps the hair look more volumey in the final look. And uh, yeah, so for now all I do is just repeat until I finish the side. I also look at a mirror to see if the proportions are good. I want to make sure that every hair of that section has at least a curl, so it helps with the overall look. You know, cell phones are great for selfies, but they're misleading that they don't have the best light and quality, which a mirror does. So make sure to look at a mirror and ask yourself if you're happy with that section, and if you are, then move on to the next section. So again, I repeat a new side using what I just said, which is drawing an S to my hair, and repeating until I'm satisfied to move on to the next side. So I wanted to show you guys a close-up with what the curls look like so you can see how it's helping add texture but also volume to my overall proportions of my face. So next for the top part of your hair, you want to curl forward while still doing the S curls. This will help balance the proportions from the curls on both sides. And I'll just repeat this again on the other side and back. So the back is definitely tricky, but what I've learned over the past years is to start slow, but also start from left to right, and then making sure that everything in the whole back section is curled. And if you ever do miss a curl or section like that, just look at a mirror and double check. Now once all the curls are done, you can use whatever wax, or skip to hairspray if you'd like, if you don't like to wear wax. Um, I think wax though does help volumize the curls and ensures that all the loose baby hairs and ends are kind of all in place. Next, you can finally use a hairspray to lock everything in place. I'm using Living Proof Hairspray because the spray is super strong, but the spray is also a soft mist that covers your hair and makes sure that everything stays in place. And that's it. I hope you guys enjoyed this look, and I'd love to hear or see photos of you guys attempting this look. Good luck. Hey everyone, so that is it for this tutorial, and kind of this look was inspired by one of my friends in the dance community, and particularly he always says to me, you know, Quincy, if I don't have the curls, how can I get the girls? No curls, no girls. And I was like, uh, okay. Okay, okay. <laughs> Anywho, if you guys like this video, please like, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys all soon. Bye.